Good morning, it's Wellness Wednesday, and I thought we'd talk a little bit about masks because I'm getting a lot of questions, especially uh, as those of you are um, talking about our household even surviving COVID and what we did, what masks we wore, what am I doing in the office. So I thought um, I'd talk about masks today um, and help educate um, you on what you can do. So there are a couple different kinds of masks. There are a lot of uh, cloth masks that are out there. You can get them in all kinds of designs. They even make them with a the little nose piece that you can go, uh, that you can kind of close on um, or kind of stick out for people like me that have, you know, a little bit of a longer nose. Um, they're a little bit more comfortable. They might have straps on the backs of the ears, you know, so that it's not um, uh, elastic to kind of bother them. You can get a headband that you can connect, um, looks like little buttons and so it's a little bit more comfortable. Um, there are surgical masks um, that you can use and there's the KN95 masks that you can use as well. There are N95 masks. Most of those are for um, medical personnel. I think the main thing that you need to do in public is um, a cloth mask is just fine. Um, I think bandanas, I'm going to be honest with you, they're great in a pinch, but they're really hard to kind of keep on um, and keep straight. I notice that most people who are wearing them continue to play with them, and our goal is not to keep touching the mask. The goal of a mask, what we're understanding is reducing the droplets, right? As we talk, you might have been seeing some of the videos, as you talk, cough, sneeze, these little particles um, and the virus can be in the particles and the mucus that comes out. You know, think about when, um, you know, you've uh, sneezed and you're like, ooh, I need to clean that up. The virus is in that. So everybody goes, oh, but it's so small. So it doesn't matter if I'm wearing a mask or not. The droplets are going to get stuck in a mask, okay? They're, where It's not like you're going to be able to throw that virus, that tiny, tiny micron virus through the mask. It's what is it being carried in? The droplet. The droplet can't really get through the mask, okay? Um, and, or you're impeding how far we come up with the six feet because most of the time when they've done studies, your, your um, breath, your sneeze, your cough, your, when you're talking loud is not going past six feet. That's where they come up with the six feet of distance, okay? Um, and so we're wanting to protect others from you and you from really kind of touching your face. So, but you have to use the mask correctly. So I'm gonna kind of use um, my surgical mask because it's a little bit easier. Um, I did my hair today. <laughs> so it's gonna be easier for me to get on and off. So kind of just are gonna put it over your, your mouth, wrap it behind your ears, Make sure it's going to be tucked in. I actually, it's kind of a little bit harder to do on a video. Uh, push it in. So you, and then you can put, if you wear glasses, put them on top so you're not getting a, as much fog up there. Um, or you can use a little bit of Dawn or there are some other things to help so you're not getting foggy. When you need to take it off, you're going to take it off like this. Don't touch the actual mask. Take it off like this. You can go hang it. Um, Cloth masks are great. You can put it in a paper bag in the car. You can then hand sanitize um, your hands. Um, and then, you know, when you get home, you can wash it. At the end of the day, you can wash it, especially if you're feeling like, you know, it, you might have been in contact with people who are talking to you closely. Um, and you feel like you, I, I think it's great that you wash, um, you know, your cloth mask. Um, the nice thing about the KN95s and the surgical masks, you know, just you can throw them out and you can also, um, uh, when you throw them out, I've had the question, do they need to go in a biohazard? No. Unless you're in a hospital and you're high risk, they don't really need to go in a biohazard. They can go in a regular garbage can. We're not really picking through garbage and picking them up and getting germs all over our hands, right? So they can go in a regular garbage can. So the next question I get is kids. Yes, get them masks, especially if they're having to go out. Um, and they make them small enough for their cute little faces now too. So I think it's important to talk to them about how to use it, um, the importance of not continuing to touch their mask. If they need help, they can ask an adult to adjust it and make sure they've even got really neat ones in the back that kind of magnetize so that it can't, it's not tied. So if they need to kind of rip it off or it's not going to choke them, um, God forbid, some, you know, so they get caught on 
something. So they've got a little magnet in the back. So super important to teach your kids how to take them on and off, the importance of why to keep it on um, as well. I get the other question, am I going to become, you know, um, oxygen depleted? You guys, we, we use surgical masks like for 8, 10, 12 hours at a time in surgeries. And it's for us to protect you during the surgery. So um, as long as you're not hyperventilating because of anxiety, you can go, you can wear a mask. Just learn how to breathe. Put it on in the house before you go out. Kind of understand the breathing techniques that you can use to stay calm and using them. Um but again, we use them in the hospital. Think about all of our healthcare providers, and they are wearing them 24 7 in the hospital now, um, and really just protecting you as patients as well as them from you as a patient, too. Um, and so, please. I'm encouraging you guys to wear your masks um, right now. I'm encouraging you to continue to socially distance, stay at home when possible, uh, um, and then, of course, help your immune system. We want to become hosts that the virus does not want. And that's looking at everything, whether it's just your plain upper respiratory infection, your summer flu, and definitely with the coronavirus and COVID uh, right now, that is happening. Uh, take care of yourself. Find self-care. I appreciate all of you this past week who have checked in on me. My husband's doing much better this week, and uh, we've implemented some self-care as well this, this week. So I thank you for all of that. But I wanted you to kind of understand um, the masks, uh, why we're recommending to continue using them right now. Um, and, and please, we're seeing the numbers still steady. There are hot spots in multiple states across the U.S., so what we are trying to do is not create herd immunity right now um, because our hospitals are overwhelmed. If you want to do something nice, I've continued to say, do something nice for a hospital worker, whether they are nurses, respiratory therapists, doctors, staff, intake staff, just do something nice for them. They're crazy. I have a couple girlfriends that I just continually check in with, pray over them because a few of them this past week, their hospitals have gone on diversion. ICUs are full. They're, this is not a hoax, you guys. It's a real virus, and um, it's a real illness, and we're trying to slow down how many people are hospitalized right now. So those of you who want to just get it done and over with, I'm begging you, don't do it right now. There's going to be a time and a place you're going to be exposed, and I'd prefer for all of us not to be exposed right now, and then having the hospitals pick and choose who gets a bed, who gets a ventilator, and who gets treatment. Majority of us are going to be fine, but I don't want you to be one of the ones that we're having to put in the hospital um, and, and worrying about how to get you the best care that you need. My husband's in his 40s. Didn't expect him to go down like he did. And so um, as a physician, I've been able to connect with my colleagues and do everything possible. And we were wearing masks. We were socially distancing. So it's around protect yourselves right now, okay? We don't need to just be um, playing the party game that some people are doing and ending up like a, a, a party in Michigan. 43 people tested positive after it. Just don't need it right now. So hopefully you've been able to take something away today. Uh, feel empowered. That's my shirt today. You guys know on my Wellness Wednesdays, I like to wear shirts that might have a word of the day for just even myself, if not for a few of you. And mine is empowered today. So have a beautiful Wednesday, and I'll see you next week.